Welcome. What's going on, Brandon Dempsey? Here to say hello on this fantastic Tuesday. How are you today? We have a, a great, great show planned for you, and we're ready to go. And we're just getting everything hooked up. You see our guest right here, Sharice Williams. So we are starting. Welcome, everybody. How are you today? Great to have you here on the Worship Team Training Weekly Show, Worship Team Training University, that is, for those of you who have become members. And we have our fantastic guest with us right here, Sharice Williams. Say, say hello, Sharice. Hi. Sharice, we're going to be uh, just talking with her in just a little bit, and we're going to be sharing out all the good stuff. And we ask if you would please do the same right now by sharing out our good stuff. We hope it's good. We hope it's good for you. Uh, please go ahead and swipe and invite if you're watching my Periscope, Facebook Live, and also if you're listening to us live by our broadcast in our um, iTunes and also our, uh, what is it, Spreaker. How could I forget the fantastic speaker, people. If you guys would, iTunes and audio, swipe this and uh, share this out as well. Periscope, Facebook Live, let us know what's up. We are talking today about the sound in your church because some of you have been telling us that you don't like it. So we want to fix it. But we can't maybe fix everything, but we want to bring to light some of the issues that you're going through in terms of how the audio team relates to the worship team and so forth. And if you catch this coming Thursday... We are going to have the man of the hour, Kent Morris, who's been doing sound uh, for Integrity Music and also for all the other great, great big artists such as uh, David Crowder, Chris Tomlin. Uh, Kent is going to come on and he's going to be sharing with us his knowledge and uh, what seems to work, uh, things that don't work. And we're going to be sharing that out with you. So make sure that you do this by becoming a member. You can also subscribe to us subscribe to our newsletter that comes out our Monday morning digest is what we call it and I'm putting it out I'm putting that out there just for you right now if you're watching this by Twitter um, and you got that with us right now also on Facebook live so guys what's up how are you today if you would while we are getting everything else ready before we launch please let us know if this is the first time you are joining us for the broadcast and if so Welcome to you, and if you would, please comment into the comment box. Let us know your name and all the, also the city or country of where you're from, and that would help us. So we are going to be diving in, but before we do that, wow, man, do we have a special for you. We have the special, 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 uh, wow, this we went on yesterday with Periscope. We had over 100 people watch us live, and uh, we were talking about the the brand new <clears throat> worship team training university and we still are running this half off special kathy what's up from south carolina watch this by facebook live how are you sweetheart good to have you who else is with us on periscope you guys say hello what's up say hello to sharice everybody say hello to sharice as well there she is waving and uh, i'm putting this out on twitter um also on facebook live now if you missed yesterday's periscope I came on at a very odd hour, which I never do at about like 3, 30, 4 o'clock. And we went on because we are, on the, we are at the final stages right now of launching, doing a very hard, hard push launch to Worship Team Training University. Here's what's going to happen. This is very good for you to know. Pretty soon, what's up, Virginia? How you doing? Live out loud. Great to have you today. Uh, we have our brand new Worship Team Training University site. You can get there by going to wttu.co. Make sure you put in the uh, page name PLLP. So the whole thing is wttu.co slash Patrick Larry Larry Patrick. That's PLLP to get today's special. This will give you half off on the entire program you have three different memberships that you can choose from, and each week is filled with not just interviews like this, but new interviews coming, including Tommy Walker. Crystal Lewis is coming. Also, we have some brand new fantastic guests that are going to be with us as well. So every week, you get two videos like this. You also get a free webinar every month, depending on which subscription plan you sign up for, as well as ebooks, 
free giveaways, and also a session with yours truly or any of our other mentoring mentors on our staff. So also you get specials to our workshops and discounts. So there's a lot more to tell you about. Just go to wttu.co slash PLLP and then you got to know that once today is over, actually once this Periscope 24 hours is over, the whole offer expires. So you need to act fast because I think you only have about maybe 14 hours left. So from the taping of the show in 14, 15 hours, it's going to expire. But if you lock in today and get a membership at any level, the, the uh, Explore is $2.99 a month. The uh, Learn program is $4.99 a month. And the Transform level is $7.99 a month. It can all come out to $69 a year and you get everything. That's if you lock in the rates today. But if you don't, they're going to double starting the next day. So that would be tomorrow. If you don't lock in today, all full prices are going to go up. So make sure you get yours. Amy just got hers too on Periscope today. What's up, Amy? And also Sharice signed up for the membership as well. And also Sharice, and talking about her, we're going to get to her in just a second. Sharice is also, just to let you know, today's guest who we have, Sharice Williamson. She has been with us now in our mentoring program. Williams, I'm sorry. She's been with us in our mentoring program uh, for our first semester, and we've gotten a look inside of her church, her leadership, walking the roads with her. Also, she's been with us on many webinars and also many periscopes. So if you are an avid periscope watcher of ours, thank you so much. You may then remember Sharice as she's commented from time to time, and now you get to see her in person. So everybody, welcome Sharice. What's up, Sharice? How are you today? Good, how are you? Doing great. It's so great to see you, my friend. Thanks for coming on. Oh, thank you for having me. Awesome. Now tell us real quick about uh, what you do, where you're from, and your church. Well, um, as you all know, or as Brandon has stated, I'm a worship leader at a church in Royal Oak, Michigan. And um, I'm a volunteer worship leader, as I tell everybody. Um, and I'm also the music director at my church, or the minister of music. And you happen to play a mean piano, I hear. <laughs> right? That may be going a little far. Uh, no. <laughs> but uh, my voice is my, my main instrument. And yes, I am... Um, I guess learning the piano. She it's is. A, a she's slow process. She's just being coy with you. Don't don't let that fool you. No. But, <laughs> but awesome. So Sharice, we're glad you're here. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. All right. Awesome. So how about we jump right into it now? This article that we're talking about today. If you are a member with us, I'm going to uh, put out the link right now to show you where we're at because we wrote a whole article on today's topic, which is church sound between engineer and stage team so i'm going to put this out right now if you're watching uh, like kathy falde what's going on she's with us on periscope thank you so much and carrot bennett thank you so much on facebook live she said hi brother i sent you a uh, firm request thank you so much for that i appreciate that firm request thank you so much um, i'm going to put in here get the post and you will find it right there you guys watch this by facebook live so hang on a second, and then also you people, sweet people, uh, following us by uh, Twitter and um, also Periscope. So if you get to today's post, you can sign up. That's at the Explorer level. That's our, our lowest level. You will get today's article that has everything we're going to talk about, as well as jump into Cherie's questions, because what we want to do in this process is not just identify uh, what churches and things are going through, uh, but we want to hear from people like Sharice herself, because doesn't that kind of help you? I know it helps me when I hear somebody else, and I don't feel so bad about whatever else that I'm going through, because I know that we're all in this together, right? So that's what this show is about today. So by the way, if you have time, be sure to go check out also worshipteamtraining.com. That's our main site. You can find more information there about our mentoring program and also our workshops and how we can come to you. Like we are coming to Lisa over in North Carolina, um, Raleigh, 15 minutes outside, going to her town this coming Friday. So can't wait for that. Be sure to watch us on Snapchat as well for the behind the scenes stuff. So let's get right to it, Sharice. Um, Today's article, let's, let's talk about the sound in your church because 
I understand. Uh, Sharice, she's at a smaller church. Can you tell us, you, didn't, you left that part out, because now we're like thinking, you know, we could think of anything right now, but tell us, like, tell us the number of the size of your team, uh, your tech team, your audio. I mean, go for it. So let us know. Okay. Well, the worship team has a worship leader, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you give us more than that? <laughs> so I'm the worship um, leader. There you go. And so each Sunday, um, I lead all the music. Uh, just myself and our uh, keyboard player, and then my audio or tech team consists of two individuals um, that will, you know, share the Sunday responsibility of carrying the service, um, whether it's making sure the slides are on time or the sound is correct. And then I have one additional person that works on the slide preparation for each week. Right. So you have a total of, what, four people, including yes. yourself? Four individuals, yes. All right, awesome. Uh, this is important because a lot of us think in worship leading that you got to have some big church. you got to have some big worship team. This is not the norm. I mean, you're looking right now at Sharice, who represents a lot of worship leaders. Probably more than half of all the churches in America have a volunteer worship leader like herself that's not part-time that's not full-time they don't have a drummer they don't have an electric guitar player and i know for many weeks uh sharice and i've talked about this and she's like but brandon i need another musician how do i get them and so a lot of you are going through that and i will tell you that you know worship teams that have you know a, a seven-piece band with four singers maybe and a choir that is not the norm anymore it used to be uh, a lot of churches do have that set up we have that set up but i was with sharice uh, well i wasn't with her at her church but i was at a church like hers where i was it i was the the lone guitar piano guy you name it i did everything all one man band with symbols between my knees so that's a lot of what the churches are about today and you you, this is the problem that we run into. We have to work with such a small team, and then we wonder, well, how can I get this accomplished? Uh, we may have this issue like Sharice. She's got two, three people on her tech, and one person may be doing slides, another person that she's got to rely on every week to do the sound, and that's it. So let us know. Is that you also watch us by Periscope Facebook Live? Come on, comment and let us know the same thing you guys listening to our audio broadcast. So it's Sharice. Um, being in a small setup, a small team, a small tech team, what is the biggest challenge that you face? I mean, besides being small, because we talked enough about that, but what's the biggest challenge that you face as a team? I, I think the biggest challenge is that none of us are trained to work audio tech. Like, we didn't mm. go grow up or surround ourselves with people who worked audio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so that was a learning curve for all of us. And so from Sunday to Sunday, depending on who's holding the mic, we have three microphones. Wow. And one that we utilize for the pulpit, which is, you know, typically for pastor, and then for the singer, and then for anyone who comes up to greet guests. And okay. so depending on which microphone they grab, because they don't always grab the same one, we have to adjust the sound because everyone holds the microphone differently. Yeah. Um, and I would say probably that would be the biggest thing is actually uh, learning how to operate the equipment. That was the biggest challenge. Wow. And so what's the, what's the room size that you're worshiping in? Um, our sanctuary probably... Seat 150 to 200. Okay. So that's a lot of pressure. I mean, not only just having a small team, learning how the audio is to work, but there's 150 of you, let's say, for an average, and there's just one of you leading worship. So right. give us a little heads up. What, what is that like? I mean, a lot of you already know. I know what that's like, but what's that like for you? Um, well, it can be challenging at times, um, definitely, because... You're, I'm, I'm solely responsible for teaching the new music and, and really just praying that people are going to be receptive to yeah. whatever song that's presented 
on on a Sunday. Um, and so um, my background, we're we're a bit more conservative in terms of our worship. So um, I think we're more of a, a pioneer in moving into a more contemporary worship setting. And yeah. and so just you know, kind of encouraging people to participate has been uh, one of the things that we probably um, made great strides in. And we still have ways to go, but, yeah. you know, just getting them involved and not just looking at me or thinking it's a concert on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true. And I, now I remember in our mentoring sessions, you had said that y- you were struggling at one point because people in your church were looking at you as the savior to all music. Like, Sharice, yeah. you know, it, everything leans on you, and this is so great, but, I mean, this is all you, and you're, like, trying to help, you know, wean them off, saying, no, uh, we want to grow as a church, we want to grow as a worship team. So how's that been? Just kind of catch us up to speed. So um, I think that we're we're moving in the direction that we need to, but it's, it's a slow go, honestly. Yeah. Um, we're getting the children's choir up and going, which was – Awesome. Uh, a big piece of what I wanted to do with our kids and teaching them to um, use different instruments or and play instruments. Cool. Because if we don't train our children, who's going to be our future yeah. <laughs> worship leaders? I don't want to keep, you know, uh, leading worship for the next 20 years. I want to make room for the other um, individuals in the church and for our young people who are gifted in these particular areas as well. So I think it's important um, that we continue to push um, because that's what we have to do. We have to push to make things um, happen. So speaking of push, all you three-year-olds out there in 20 years are going to be pushing her around in a wheelchair because <laughs> I'm just kidding. You got to train them while they're young, right? You got to train them while they're young. <laughs> but um, no, I'm just just all playing. Though. Uh, Charisse, she she's such a fantastic person and worship leader and no, I've known you now for um, going on maybe what a year, two years maybe. Yeah, I was going to say two years. Like two years. Um, so as we talked last week, we had Chris Bache on last Thursday, and he talked about the importance of teamship. This coming Thursday, we're going to hear from Kent Morris to talk about teamship within audio and also within the stage within worship team. So, how do you see? Those two working together, Sharice, as far as the audio team and you being the worship team, how important is that to the church? Oh, I mean, it's definitely one of the um, one of the most important relationships because it helps with the flow of the service. Um, with, I guess, with us having one person at the desk on Sunday, yeah, <laughs> they're behind the slides and they're behind the sound and. And let's not forget if we decide to use a CD that that particular Sunday, sure. <laughs> so we have a track. So they're responsible for handling all those three things and and giving me their eye contact, so I can give them any type of direction. Now, okay, let's hone in on that. Can you give us an inside scoop? Like when you say eye contact, that's such a key element. What do you do in that eye contact? to communicate with your team? Yeah, so um, we have a few cues, I guess, now, but usually I just kind of raise my head so they know that I'm looking to them and I Mm. I want them to do something. So I lift my head up kind of like this, and then they know, hey, I need you to focus on me for a second. And typically it's very simple adjustment, um, most often related to the the level of, of the music. Yeah. Or to the microphone. And then what happens when things go south? <laughs> you have another look I'm sure you use, right? No, I'm kidding. But what... you know, it, it has happened um, because we use a laptop that connects to our projector. For some reason, our software will just, I don't know, clonk out in the middle. We've had to restart the mm. PC wow. in order to to get the slides back up It's again. never happened to any of us, don't worry, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you know, and I guess the other important part to that is knowing your lyrics. So as the worship leader, hmm. if your slides go down, not using that, those as a crutch because yeah. if they go down, people are looking to you That's right. to feed them the, the, the next line. <laughs> I'll tell you, she's such a great learner. We, you know, we talked a lot about this stuff 
in our sessions together. And that was the one thing that I remember encouraging you with is, you know, to be strong in the lyrics, right? And, yes. and to hear you talk about that, that's such a success for you. I'm so proud. Um, so, like, what are some, can you let us know, like, what are some things that you do then as, what are some things that you do as a singer to help prepare yourself for the lyrics in the event that if the computer does go down? Oh, my God. Rehearse, rehearse, <laughs> rehearse. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's no, you know, it doesn't happen magically. So really going over the song and ensuring that it's settled in your heart, I think turning the, you know, taking the lyrics, figuring out what they mean to you will go a long way and you remember, rem I can't even talk, remembering yeah. the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, sure. Um, I think that was, that was key for me. It's just making it really personal. And then that way, if something were to happen, on Sunday with the slides, it, it won't make a difference for me that I can continue to lead well. Yeah, awesome. You, you know, um, one thing that I'm sure you've seen this as well, you guys, Periscope, Facebook Live, y'all seen this too. Uh, one of the most incredible, I think, the things that I see that happens in a negative way is when, let's say the worship leader like Sharice or a singing team, they forget the lyrics and then they look back at the person doing the slides like it's their fault, <laughs> right? <laughs> So what do you think that says to the congregation when that happens? Yeah, that's a difficult thing because you want to look somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just don't look at me. I'm going to tell you, just don't yeah, look at me. <laughs> because everyone is focused on you, and they want you to do something about it, but you're trying to be patient and wait because you, if you're having a technical difficulty, you just have to sometimes wait it out. Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> and it may so, take a long time. <laughs> and sometimes it does. Um, and thank God I've never had to move on from a song because I didn't know the lyrics. But, um, but we we've definitely had to start again. Yeah. Uh, before, and and that's okay too. Um, I just think that you know people need to realize you know we're all human and we're doing the best that we can each Sunday when we when we you know when I come up to lead. And it, you know, I'm, it's a pleasure to do. It's an honor, and um, we just try to do it as, with as much grace as we can. Yeah, awesome. So, tell us now, when you're working with your audio engineer, what are some things that you help them with? With because you talked about training, and you talked about uh, there wasn't a lot of technical know-how. And so how did, how did you guys become more and more educated within your system all the way up to date? Uh, well, I still feel as if our technical know-how is still a little low, um, but our, our system is pretty simple. So now it's just a matter of understanding the inputs and the outputs. So we kind of went over that, um, the different uh, levels that are acceptable depending on who is speaking into the microphone. And then um, I think sometimes uh, if someone is in a natural multitasker, it's, dif it's difficult because in the moment, if, oh. if a change needs to be made, it, it's almost as if, you know, they, I don't want to, I don't know if they freeze, but it all of a sudden confusion falls <laughs> <laughs> on them. And then we just say, okay, just take a breath, take a moment, and then, you know, try it again. And I think that for us, it was just a matter of staying calm in the moment. Mm. Such a good word, uh, staying calm, because when things happen, like what you said, the church is looking at you. And if they see us go ballistic or spastic, then we're just magnifying the problem at that point. Right. So for you as a leader to be calm, you're not only being um, giving assurance to the congregation, but you're also, in, in, some, in, in some ways, you're, you're giving assurance to the sound engineer, but you're also helping them do their job because you're not freaking out. Exactly, exactly. And that it brought to mind just uh, <laughs> one of our microphones is battery operated. <laughs> so now I've had microphones go out in the middle of worship. Mm. And just keeping um, the necessary materials available, so having backup batteries 
readily available was important for us and something that we hadn't previously done. And yeah. so then I have to go find another mic to use to continue on. So what would help in those moments to prevent that? Um, well, it's interesting enough, everyone talks about having a sound check. <laughs> and we, we don't have a, a full system or that many people utilizing the microphones, but um, I do perform a, a short sound check every Sunday. And now it's a matter of checking the batteries. And I actually leave on the microphone to see if it will, if it can sustain for a while. Mm -hmm. And then every um, couple of weeks, I just change them out no matter what. So we don't have any issues. Mm. So speaking of changing, if there is one thing you had to change with your audio team, or let's say maybe you're seeing from the audience perspective, you know there's something that there's one thing that they want to change about the worship team or music or whatever what would it be oh gosh I we want to change one thing about our team um you know i i would like to improve our system that would be the major change i would okay. like to um bring it up to date a little more um and perhaps it would create a better sound for our sanctuary and, but along with that, we'd have to do some training. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. So what do you say with to churches? Because some of you guys watching us right now, you may be thinking, yeah, but I'm not in a small team. Uh, however, you may find yourself leading a Bible study in which you're using a small system or none at all. And it could just be you, uh, just your instrument and whatever. Um, also, there are a lot of you guys that are working in a small setup just like Sharice. So Sharice, what have you learned in the capacity of working in a small team with a small audio team? What have you learned that you think others can benefit from those that are maybe going through the same scenario as you are? Um, one word, I would just say faithful, be faithful. Um, you know, I think about uh, the parable of the the guy with the gold, you know, <laughs> the master had given him five bags right. and then he turned around and he had five more that he was able to, you know, produce. And, and I just think that if God knows that he, that we can be faithful with these, these small beginnings that he'll increase um, the ministry, he'll give us uh, resources that we need. And I've just seen what God has done. I mean, we didn't have a musician for, well over a year and we use soundtracks hmm. and but we were faithful with that and my sound team and i we would get together we go through rehearsing with the soundtracks and then when god blessed us with the musician we continued you know rehearsing we stayed faithful and so i just believe that you know he, he'll bring the increase if we just do what we're supposed to do yeah that's a great word thanks so much for sharing that uh you guys Let's give a hand and thanks for Sharice. Sharice, thanks so much for being on today. Love you. Thank you. And uh, you'll be seeing Sharice again because we hope to have you back. If that's cool with you, we can schedule up another date. Another that was date. awesome. Okay, <laughs> awesome. And then she took, I mean, and you're so sweet. You took the whole day off. She took the whole day off from work just to be here with you. How sweet is that? Well, you know, it's the least I can do for you, Brandon. Oh gosh, you're so sweet. Now, your husband, you know, he's got to work today, so he's probably he not does. liking he's probably not liking that part, right? But, <laughs> but but anyway, but that but that's so special. Uh, Sharice, thanks so much for being on with us today. You're welcome. Thank you. You bet. And and guys, uh, yes, do we work outside the church? Uh, yeah, we do. I mean, she does. Sharice does. Uh, Live out loud. Thanks so much. For that, uh, you guys uh, look. This is what we do: taking real live, working worship leaders to help, you know, talk about things that are real within their church. I mean, the problems, the hangups. Because you'd be surprised to know, but this is where a lot of people live in terms of, man, how do I get past this? Uh, how do I tackle that? And this is these are situations that we all face. So that is the purpose of why you're watching these Tuesday shows. If you want to watch more and you also want to hear from Kent Morris's response coming this Thursday, he's going to talk about how to work in small situations like Sharice all the way up to the big, 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 big uh, amphitheater style 
of worship venues. Now, a little bit about Kent Morris. Not only has he been doing sound for Integrity Music for the past, uh, gosh, around 30 years or so, but he also is Charles Stanley's main audio lead. All right, so this guy, you talk about pressure, I mean, broadcasting around the world, millions of people watching. Kent is the head guy, so if anything happens, uh, Dr. Stanley looks at him like, hey, uh, it's your fault, Bubba. You need to fix it. So what perfect guy to have on the show. I couldn't find a better one. Kent Morris is going to be with us this coming Thursday. So if you want to watch that show, you got to sign up for a membership at WTTU.PLLP. Now, you can go to the regular WTTU.co site. Great. But the PLLP page that I've already thrown up on Twitter and also yesterday's Periscope and also on Facebook, if you can get that, then you're going to get more than half off uh, deals for the membership. So you can't miss that. And if you want to sign up and hear Kent, then do it Thursday. Yes, that's right. Live out loud. That is exactly why uh, uh, Charles Stanley's hour sounds so good is because of Kent. So if you want more about that and more info, please hit us up. Sign up for membership today. Um, if anything, you know, then you can watch back uh, these other playbacks that we have. But we have 660 more growing articles of content, plus we have webinars, free eBooks, and so many other things coming. Plus we spoke with another great friend today who is uh, in the process of uh, just bringing on more great friends to this show that you're going to be watching on Thursday. So we have a lot more coming at you. This is only the tip of the iceberg, let me tell you. There's a lot more planned for Worship Team Training and Worship Team Training University. We are at the very start. This is not even it, okay? Just wait for everything else that's coming. Plus, we got books coming as well. So I can't wait to give those to you as, um, also. Jerry Single, what's up? Good friend there. Uh, a lot of great friends coming on Periscope and also Facebook Live. Uh, you guys are special. Jason, thanks so much. Wow, Jason's on it, inviting 523 people. I don't know if, if we had the bandwidth to, to handle that. He may break Periscope for us. That would be awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome, Sharice? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I want to go longer, uh, but our, unfortunately, our time is up. So please do this right now. Uh, thanks, Jason. You're, you're, you're a great dude. Uh, if you guys would, please share out this broadcast to somebody that you know that's working with an audio tech or those in your team that are having a difficult time and they're set up. Uh, this is a great program that we want you to have. So share this out with all your friends on Twitter and also Periscope Facebook Live. And be sure to catch this coming Thursday. This coming Thursday. Uh, thanks so much, Ministry. Thanks so much for being here. Appreciate that. Free to laugh now. Uh, this coming Thursday on WTTU.co, you will find Kent Morris and the continuation of this conversation. And we're going to go deeper, and plus you'll get all the articles uh, that Kent's writing and everybody else. Um, I just got word yesterday that Plum is also going to be added to the program. So you can't miss it. There's gonna, not this Thursday, but to come. And also we got Tommy Walker coming next week. So it's like all these people... Uh, are coming out. So how about you? So please join us at WTTU.co. Sign up for a membership today. Get the special that's going to be ending in the next 12 hours. Again, go to WTTU.co slash Patrick Larry Larry Patrick. That's P-L-L-P. Please do that. And then you'll get everything out and everything will be coming to you, and uh, it's been so sweet. So we got to go for now. Sharice, thanks again for joining us today. It's lovely to have you. Thank you so much. All right, guys, and we thank you, and we'll see you back at the next, at the next Periscope Facebook Live next Tuesday, or unless if you join as a membership now, then we'll see you Thursday. Love you. Have an awesome day. See you guys very soon. Bye-bye. All right, Sharice.